principle of priority doing things that is important first not urgent first hi jack here and in this episode i would like to share with you something that is very profound because many times how many of you realize that you have a lot of things to do right me too i have also a lot of things to do and many times people ask jack how are you able to finish your task steadily one by one by one so i said well simple it's very simple i mean and nothing else is simpler than this principle and this principle is called the principle of priority which i learned from my partner my teacher alice mandoshin many years ago that is number one you've got to distinguish things that are considered important and things that are urgent and number two you do the things that are important to you first. So let me just share with you some of the examples that I have in the past. So I used to be a guy who is so hooked on to my email accounts. And what happened is that I like to clear all my emails every single day when I wake up. And I know that my coaches, my teachers have told me not to do that. Why? Because there are other important things I should, have, I should do first. But what happened? Well, do I listen? I listen to them. No, I didn't. So what happened is that I still cleared all the emails before I started doing other words. So one fine day, I know that okay, it's time for me to really put this principle into practice. So what I did is I actually left the email box untouched. And you know what is the amazing part is like just last week in Kuala Lumpur. I didn't really open up my email accounts in the last three days because I was so busy surfing and changing lives of other people. And by the time I reached the hotel, it's already 10, 11 o'clock. And I said, what's the point of looking at the email accounts as if there would be important messages that need to be, that need to be attended to immediately. And I know that my clients, for example, my clients know me very well. My high-end clients know that if they need to contact me, they have an alternative way to connect. So they don't need to send me an email. In fact, I may not read the emails. So my, I educated my high-end clients how to connect with me, not using emails. So for that, I've done. I've not. I've no concern about whether my high-end clients will reach me while I'm in Kuala Lumpur. So with that being taken care of, it means that the rest of the emails are not, are not important. They might be urgent. They might not be important because important things will come to me through a specific means. So I've learned that, well, yeah, I don't need to check emails. I have a concern whether how many emails I have to open up when I came back to Singapore, 800 emails. So 800 emails, is that a lot? You bet, of course, a lot. But it is kind of like I have already overcome the, the, the concern of having opened the mailbox every single day because now I can leave my mailbox in touch for a couple of days. And that actually helped me a lot in terms of not paying attention to something that is urgent because many of you are so overwhelmed with the with things that you have right now. Because as long as it is urgent, you've got to handle first. Stop. Yes, stop. Because if you still think that urgent stuff must be attended to right now, you miss the bigger part. That is, you have other important things to do. Have you dealt, have you dealt with those important things? So tell me what is important things there, Jack. Okay, important things are things that you must deal with that can help you move forward in your personal life, your family life, your business on that day. So for example, if you have to open the mailbox and to check the emails, does it help you in your business? Does it not help you in the business? What is that? So the moment you say, hey, you know what, today I need to meet an important client. I have to open the emails to check if I've got other leads coming in. So which is more important, to meet the client first or read the emails and see if you have got any new leads? You be the judge, not me, 
not your coaches, not everyone. You will be the judge. But the thing is that if you know this principle of priority, deal with the important things first. You know what will happen next? It's like you will feel so relieved because those big things, those important things that give you the anxiety, that give you the concern, are already removed as soon as you get them done. So trust me on this. Or maybe you don't trust me, but I will just ask you, maybe you just want to give experience of doing that. Maybe you want to have experience of doing important things first. And you know what? And see whether you, this makes a difference in you. And if you have, comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. This principle of priority that I've learned from my partner and teacher, Alice Mandoshian, has helped me a lot. So I want to pass it to you in case I forget. This is the principle of priority. And once again, what is it? That is to be able to distinguish things that are urgent and important and only deal with the important things first. If it's urgent, that means it is not important. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this little episode. And I have some more things that I'm going to add. That is, I want to help you remind yourself that I've just launched the IGTV. IGTV means what? Instagram TV. So I'm going to put a link below. I would like you to follow me on my IGTV and support me by watching the episode, which is basically on personal development experiences, insights, and my journey. There are lots of lessons I'm going to impart on you if you choose to follow me on my IGTV. Again, the link will be given to you at the bottom of this video. In celebration of this Be Life Facebook Live, I want to offer you one thing. And guess what it is? If you subscribe to my IGTV and follow me, I'm going to give you a surprise when I have reached episodes two zero. So right now I've got episodes up to three. It means that when I reach episodes 20, so 17 episodes to go, I'm going to give you a surprise. When it is time to announce, I will do that. So what do you do? Meanwhile, follow me on my Instagram, follow me on my IGTV to get the lessons from me, Jack Wong, on personal development, my experiences, my insights, and the lessons that might be useful to you, who knows, that can help you to take your business to the next level. Until we next meet, Jack Wong here, I'm signing off. Best wishes.